Lead paint dust and paint chips are the cause of almost one million new cases of lead poisoning in children each year. Maria was only nine when she lost her two-year-old baby sister to lead poisoning. This is my sister Carol. This is the last time that all of us were together. And Carol, about three or four months after this picture was taken, died of lead poisoning. Like many young children, baby Carol would eat the sweet-tasting lead chips, unaware of its dangers. All through her childhood, uh, from the time she could walk, whenever she was outside, she would always, her mouth would come level to the railing, and she would chew on the railing. And my mom constantly would stop her, we'd all try to stop her, but, you know, she was a baby teething, and she constantly chewed on the railing. And when they found out it was lead poisoning, right after that was when they started finding out that there was lead in the paint. And that's what caused her to have lead poisoning. In the early 1900s, it was common to use lead-based paint in and around homes. That was until research showed how dangerous it was, banning it in 1978. Years ago, you didn't scrape it off. You just painted it on top. So there were layers and layers of lead paint but nobody knew how dangerous it was. Because of the tragic accident with her baby sister, Maria now knows the dangers of lead poisoning, but she's not sure that many other people are aware. I never hear anybody talk about it, but I know because of my experience. So it's not something I ever read about or hear about.